Hi everybody, today I am setting up my bullet journal for the month of September 2019. I just came off of a month of plan as you go. You can totally watch that if you want to. Most of them were live and so it feels kind of weird to be recording a planner video, you know, with cameras and then editing, but that's what we're going to do. For September I am going to utilize this. This is a couple months ago, Simply Gilded. I love the copper color and it's got like butterflies and kind of nighttime when since we'll be spending several nights in September at home football games with my high schooler while they play a marching band. I thought that that would look pretty. I'm using the mono drawing pens from Tombow. The main one I'll use is the 03 but I may use the other sizes and I actually pulled out this jelly roll. It's metallic copper to match this and I may add that for accents. I'm feeling about getting a little fancy this month. I, I It's been something I've kind of avoided in recent months, but I'm kind of into the fanciness right now, or at least somewhat fancy. So we'll see how that goes. Next month in October, I'm going to be using a blackout journal from Archer and Olive for bullet journaling for the whole month. It's going to be a separate notebook than this one, but I'm okay with that. That's one of the reasons I got the jelly rolls out. I figured I'll just experiment with one this month, but next month I am going to be doing blackout planning and I'm really excited about that. That'll be coming soon. I don't know if I, I might stick with it for a while, who knows? But for now, this particular notebook is not anywhere close to empty yet because I have been not using it quite so much as I've used previous ones. I guess we'll see. Anyway, rambling already. Let's get this washi tape down and then I will start putting some shit into this shit. <laughs> I love this like kind of galaxy situation. It's not galaxy, but like this, the stardust or whatever this washi tape is called. I love these colors so very, very much. So this side, I want to put painting ideas. For those of you who don't know, I am, um, I need like a black brush pen, I think. Yeah, let's see here. Let's grab, no, that's not the one I want. Where's the one I want? Fuck, where's the one I want? Where's the one I want? There, nope, that's not it either. Motherfucker. I don't know why I'm having so many issues already. All right, well, let's use this one. Actually, no. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to grab a nice, bold Pit Artist pen. We'll go with that one. At the end of this month, I will be opening up a shop selling art prints. I already have the majority of them finished and I'm almost done with them. There will be 12 floral prints with something a little subversive hid into each one. That's going to be the first launch, but I do want to start collecting ideas and I actually already have a bunch of them collected up. So I want to start listing them here so I can start keeping track of the flowers people are interested in me doing. really like how that copper is looking. I think that looks really pretty. So these are all ideas that came from a recent live stream. So I'm going to copy those all over right now. And then I will uh, start the in, like the intro page for the month. Um, some of you who've been following me for a while know that I have been really avoiding doing fancy stuff in my bullet journal because it was serving as like a procrastination technique. And I have really been like lightly incorporating washi and things like that back in since the beginning of the year. Function over fancy has been my motto. But I'm also really interested now in starting to get a little cuter, not all the time. And like if you see my regular bullet journal, like some days look cuter and some days I'm just like scribbling. I think the thing I was trying to, what is that? Trillium? Trillimum? I can't read my own damn writing. I think it's trillium. I guess I'll look it up and if it doesn't come up as a flower, then I fucked it up. <laughs> I think as long as I can keep perspective and not allow my bullet journal to become a, you know, complete and total like procrastination technique or something that I can like lose myself in without, you know, actually getting shit done. As long as I can keep that perspective, I think that I will be on the right track. And that's something I wanna be working on. I'm very happy with my bullet journal the way it is right now. I've been happy with it since I did my discerning last year to figure out what the fuck I was doing with my planners. And on that note, you know, this is meant to be a shameless plug, but whatever. The Skillshare class I just produced is up on Skillshare. There's a link for getting two months of premium free. So both of those links are in the description. The premium free one is an affiliate link. This is not sponsored by Skillshare. The class is about finding planner piece and how to figure out what exactly you want in your planner, which I went through and has been very helpful. But at the same time, I do need to keep an eye on how much bullshit I'm doing in my planners versus how much I'm actually like using it. That's something I'm still working on. I'm going to actually, now but on that note, 
I really want to be a fancy schmancy. I did this like, you know, where you put the pencil and then you trace around it to make the, you know, this situation happen. I love doing it. It's a little bit more time consuming, but I love how it looks. I'm not gonna erase just yet because it's this Pit Artist pen does take a few minutes to dry, but I am gonna just draw in the box to put my focus for the month. All right, so I added a little bit of the accents with the copper pen as well, and now I am going to put in my focus. I'm gonna pull it from my power sheets, the, the words for the, for the month, which were actually, again, given to me um, on a live stream this last month. My words for the month from who? Because I wrote them down too, where is my? I haven't been glancing at my September sheets yet. Get it done and then enjoy from Claire Nixon Hines. So get it done and then enjoy is my focus for the month. I'm not using one of my nicer erasers because I just, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to dig one out. I'm just going to use the one on the end of this mechanical pencil that I used because it happens to be what was nearby. And as much as I have a bunch of nice art supplies, sometimes I just don't want to fucking dig for them. I just don't want to. I'm more inclined to use what's close at hand. And I moved all of my good erasers over to my other desk where I paint because I use them a lot when I'm working on paintings. And I very rarely use pencil when I'm lettering, so it made sense to have them somewhere else. And look at that, there we go. Fancy fucking whatever. It's for, actually, you know what? I kind of want to do, I wonder if I have enough. There we go. Now I gotta dry it before I can turn the page. On this page, I'm doing my monthly intentions list and um, putting my challenges in. If you haven't seen them already, they're already up on the website and up on my Facebook page or my Facebook group and Instagram. They are a combined lettering doodling challenge this month with 80s toys that I loved. My personal favorite looking at, I loved Rainbow Bright. And did I put Herself the Elf on here? I don't think I did. I should have put Herself the Elf on here. That was one of my Halloween costumes when I was younger. I almost lost lettering chicken right there. I don't know why I'm like so into doing this particular more labor intensive style of lettering this month, except that I just am really liking how it's looking. I may even use it on some of my weekly, like daily lists and everything, depending on how much of a mood I'm in. I'm not going to put any of the copper over here though. I don't think maybe I'll put a little bit on this page, but not on the word just because I don't want to have to wait that long for it to dry. I've got shit to do today. I've got shit to do and I can't. Remember what I said about spending too much time procrastinating in my bullet journal? Making editorial decisions like that comes into it. So I'll wait for a second for that to dry, but I will add some like little sparkles. Sparkles. So for those of you who were following my lives for Plan As You Go Live this last month, I have a new setup where you can see my face and my hands at the same time. And I do want to incorporate that into some of the videos I'm filming. However, I have not figured out the best way to do that without accidentally going live at the same time. That happened at least twice during Plan As You Go. And I was like, oh, well, fuck. So I haven't figured it out yet. Eventually I will. But until then, you're just gonna have to look at my hands or my face, but only one at a time. Of course, the next time I live stream, which I think will be the 15th, unless I decide to pop in live on a different day, which is entirely possible. I had so much fun going live every day. And on the live, the official live stream, I will be showing my face as well. So this will be my doodles, and I'm just gonna write that in little up here. Sorry for any background noise, by the way. I've got the doors open because it's nice out and I wanna get the house not smelling quite so much like air conditioning and despair. And then I'm gonna do lettering 
last month I did my lettering on a single page and I loved how that looked, but you know, there's gonna be running out of room. So I want, and these are a little longer of, some of these are a lot longer than the words I used last month. So I'm gonna do a two page spread for lettering. Speaking of challenges, what about Inktober? Is anybody planning on doing Inktober in October? It's a art challenge, like originally meant to be, you did a drawing or an illustration in ink every day for the month of October, but it's kind of grown past that. I have attempted to participate in it and I've never been happy with it. And I've noticed a lot of people do hella finished illustrations, but I would rather just do a doodle every day because I don't want to spend that much time every day on a challenge like that because I got other shit to do. And so there's my lettering and my doodling spreads. I'm loving the colors and the, this is like a vibe. This is as the, as the youth of America would say, this is like a vibe. Is that what they say? They may not say that. I don't know. Okay. So I have one more spread to put in and this one's going to take a little while. I have been doing the curly girl method. One thing I have discovered is that I uh, am struggling to keep up with all the things I'm doing. Like with curly girl, you don't wash every day. And I always didn't wash every day, but now it actually matters. And like, do I wash with just like a conditioner wash or do I wash with clarifying? Like I need to keep track of all this shit and I need to keep track of what I'm using. So the spread I wanna make now is a curly girl centered spread to figure out my shit because that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna draw in a tracker first and we'll talk about it as soon as I've drawn it in. But I haven't drawn a tracker in so long, holy shit. Here is my curly girl tracker. I'll explain it and then I'll finish the rest of this spread. So I've got the whole month of September and then I have the different things that I could be using in my hair to track. I didn't put the actual products. I'm gonna make a list of those up here to see what products I was using this month. Deep condition, washing with a clarifying shampoo, washing with a low poo shampoo, co-washing alone, leave-in conditioner, uh, the Believe gel, the Bounce gel, and the Spray gel are three different gels that I've been trying to experiment with different combinations of which I like the most. The Refresh spray, like am I using that instead of washing my hair that day? And then did I sleep with the bonnet on? Because I have been sleepy with the bonnet on most nights, but I don't always remember. And then at the bottom I have Status, and I want to mark what status my hair was that day. Oh, hi, Mark. So curly, wavy, or flat. And I can add other statuses maybe over here later if I feel like there's other things like frizziness or something. But for now, I just want to see, did it get curly? Is it wavier? Or did it kind of go flat? This is just to track kind of my progress over the month and the routines I'm trying to get into. plan on doing at least one more bullet journal update this month so you can kind of see how it's going. I stopped doing trackers like this in my bullet journal because they weren't being very helpful, but because I'm, I'm like super overwhelmed right now with making sure my I stick to my routine. So I feel like this will help me at least this month, if not as I continue to figure out what curly girl routine works for me. So we're heading into fall here in the United States. And so I'd love to hear from you, whether you're in the US and you're heading into fall or you're not in the US, you're somewhere else and heading into fall or not. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below what your favorite thing about fall is. And don't forget to check out my new Skillshare class, Finding Planner Peace. You can find that information in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.